Man, oh man, we back at it again. Yo, what it do? It's your boys, Juice and Lou. We back here with another banger for y'all. You already know what time it is. The NBA season is what? Like less than 20 days away now? Mm hmm. <clears throat> just, we, man, we just inside this, y'all, man. So, the raining, before we start this off, as y'all can obviously see what's about to go on here, we about to make our tier list with NBA team. Whole mm -hmm. lot of, whole lot of shaking up. You know, this, this off season is going to be tough. But, I'm going to ask you. Who's the biggest threat to the defending champions, Boston Celtics? In the East or West? Or does it matter? You could say in the East, and then you could say West. <sighs> like, like you could say um, who could who could be in front of them. Who's in front of them in the East? That could be a problem. And then say they get past the East, they can make it back to the finals. Who in the West can be a problem? Well, matchup-wise, in the East, you got to say the Knicks now. I mean, yeah. with the yeah. addition of Cat losing the, 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 the out of nowhere addition of Cat <laughs> losing definitely. Randall and Divincenzo for him, you got to put the Knicks there because now they got a center just like Porzingis, but he's probably a little stronger than Porzingis. Uh, both can shoot the same, so they they match up well at center. They got the wing defenders with the trade from Mikel Bridges in the off season. With OG and then Ananobi and Mikel in the wings to try to guard Brown and Tatum. Yep. And then you got the superstar guard and Jalen Brunson. And obviously Josh Hart off the bench. Um, they were made start. specifically for Boston. Exactly. They, they got a team. Deuce McBride had a good year last year. Still got um, Mitchell Robinson. I heard they actually trying to move him. Uh, now they have Cat. But we'll yeah. see. I think, yeah, like I said, I think... Lineup matchup wise, the Knicks definitely have the best team out east to do so. In the West, it's it's hard not to say us. It's hard not to say us. I mean, I I get it. We're still young. Um, we actually got Isaiah Hardenstein and Alex Caruso to the Thunder this year. So those are two vet vet pieces, I guess. Because Caruso is our oldest player. Only thirty years old, um. So yeah, I mean, as as long as we gotten better, like as we just need like Jalen Williams, the good one, to develop in a half court offense, uh, being better to help Shea out and like take the load off him or whatever. Because I think our defense, I'm not gonna, lie, I think we have a top three defense. Are gonna have a top three defense because we can dang near switch everything. Um, if we put Chet at four. Check got to shoot more consistently outside. Yeah, that too. He's put on a little bit of pounds, like ten to fifteen pounds, I think. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, I think those are the two teams that, like, matchup wise, could definitely give the Celtics a run for their money. Um, there's always the Denver Nuggets too. Um, they yeah. have a, a good starting five. I'm really worried about the bench though, but you know they're starting five of. Murray, Christian Brown, uh, Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr., and Jokic could always do some damage. So we'll see. We'll yeah. see. But I really like those teams that will give Boston a run for their money. Man, that's that's gonna be interesting, man. But let's get let's get this tier list out the way. Let's go ahead and start from the bottom. Actually, no, let's start from the top. We got our contenders, we got our one piece away, we got our average, and then we got our young, but could make some noise. Then we got our wild cards, and then you got your bad, like, wizard's bad. Yeah, Quite so let's literally. go ahead and start this off, right? So let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. You yeah. Know, they... To be fair, the only team that probably has potential of being with them is Portland or Detroit. That everybody else is going to be good. Charlotte, Utah? Charlotte, if Charlotte, if Lamelo is healthy, could be a wild card. You said Utah, Utah, they'll probably be like the young buck could make some noise. Because the Utah, I don't know what it is, they're always there. 
So they got Somewhere. Lowry. They actually just re-signed they him. They just re-signed him to a contract. Mm-hmm. You still got Sexton. You still got everything. You still got Keontae George. So, Young Buck can make some noise, but I, but you could. I wouldn't be mad if you put him in the wild card spot, too. Because the thing is, like I said, the Jazz are just always there. They're like, they're always there. Like, they, they started off, was they didn't start off undefeated, but they was on a streak, too. Like, at yeah. one point, they was top of the West at one point. I mean, the Magic always seem to start off hot every year. <laughs> For whatever reason. But let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and start with our contenders, man. We'll just go defend the champs. Yeah. Uh, Nuggets are there. always going to be up there. Are they? Are they, though? Bench is suspect to me, like I said, man. I think they need one more player. Now, do I agree? Losing Bruce Brown hurt them for sure. They lost him now. They lost Jeff Green still back then. They lost KCP now. Like a lot of players in that championship team not there no more off the bench. And those are like key players. And I mean, they got Westbrook now, but like we don't know how good of a fit it will be yet. Um, as long as you have a three-time MVP, you're always going to be a contender. A three out of the last four MVPs should have been a four straight MVPs. As long as you have him, you're going to be a contender. All right, that's fair. I still, me personally, I think they're one one piece away. And I can feel that. I can, I can see that. Because I, I don't know. Jamal Murray hasn't been playing too good anymore since the Lakers series. Struggled a whole summer in FIBA. Or not FIBA, the Olympics. Bro, um, actually, Murray. to this day right now, I think there's a preseason game going on. Last time I checked, he was like one for five. So, yeah, preseason, but I don't know. He he ain't been looking good, man. People saying he can only play good against the Lakers I was now. Say, Jamal Murray, unless he sees purple and gold, he he's nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see who else is a good tell. Good throw. I throw Knicks in there. Yeah. I would throw the Knicks in there. No. Tyrese, no. Paul George, and no. Need? The Sixers will never be a contender. <laughs> to me. No offense, bro, but. Forever. Bro, it's like they got the pieces. They, I would say they have the pieces, but they're, they all have playoff meltdowns. <laughs> So, Except Maxi. Except Maxi. Maxi showed up. But it's really for them, it's like actually I want to pause on this real quick. Like with all these teams, I think the league is so talented now yeah. that it really comes down to coaching with a lot of these teams yeah. and players. Like there's no way like you can't tell me like the bench of like the Houston Rockets wouldn't be better than like a bench of like the sixties, seventies and eighties championship teams like because mm. the just based on like town alone mm. there's just so much talent in the nba like the pistons weren't roster isn't bad but they only won what 15 games last year lost 25 games in a row so i think it really comes down to coaching now nowadays with yeah. the league because i think the talent is just getting so deep in the league so we really got to look at taking into consideration of the coaches. Now, Nick Nurse is a good coach. The last time he's been there was, what, was he on the, yeah, the 2019 Raptors? Yeah, 2019. It's been five years, buddy. Five years. You got, this is like, uh, you got three stars now. I mean, this is kind of like, it could be like his last, last hurrah if they don't get it done this year. Might be washed. At least get to the what? Past the second round, they can't get past. Yeah. You know, this... I keep them in. I keep them either average or one piece for me. Average is fine though. Yeah, you know who else is gonna be average to me? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I like JJ I mean, Redick. I feel like JJ Redick could 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 make the Lakers better. But that team is just getting older, bro. Roster wise, that is an the roster is just not. Roster. Yeah, yeah. And I can't really put them in one piece away because you got LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Like, you know, you got the yeah. pieces around you. You just need a coach, like he's like 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 Lou said. You know, you just need a coach. 
It's yeah. about coaching nowadays. And I also got another hot take, spicy take. People might not like it, but womp womp. I'm sorry. I like that. No, I actually do like that. I mean, it benefits my thunder because we have their picks. So <laughs> if they're bad, I mean, who cares? But yeah, I mean, Kawhi, he actually just recently got surgery on his knee. That's been like the whole deal with them. Like, Kawhi is, 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 he could have got is, surgery like instead of like going and like at least trying in the Olympics, he could have got surgery right after the playoffs and said F the Olympics. Could have just went and got surgery and been ready for the season. But now he's getting surgery. So now we don't know when he'll start the season off. And you got Harden. He's getting older. Kawhi. And everybody else around him, I mean, it's yeah. cool. I mean, Trey Mann is cool. <laughs> yeah, not Pete, the Terrence Mann, I mean. That's going to take you there, though. You got. I think they got Bones. Bones is cool. Bones and. Then, then us two out there. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, the Clippers, that's, I, honestly, I think Kawhi, I mean, you got like. Really because at their peaks, like Harden and Kawhi, you said this in 2018, 19. I mean, shoot, that's, that team probably crazy. Insane. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, hey, man. I, yeah, Kawhi maybe I think... got like a year or two left. <laughs> I think he hangs it up. I'm not going to lie. Especially if he has another injured riddle season like this again this season. Well, he played, well, he played 65 games last year. Or 68. But he, In the playoffs? No, he didn't, not the playoffs. Right. You're talking about playoffs, yeah. He He's probably not going to show up. But it's, it's just like Kawhi on, just like when he plays. It's like. When people try to say like Zion's a bust, when but he like plays, when he plays, he's like there. they're he they're both it. good and great, and like all worldly. But that's the thing, like when he plays, yeah. <laughs> literally like, when he plays. So I like I like the Clippers there though. I like them there. So uh, we also got I don't know where you want to put your squad at. I mean, Me by metrics, we're we're contenders. We gotta be. We won what fifty five games last year. We were supposed to win, maybe. I mean, be a playing team last year. Yeah. We got better on paper. I mean, we got a rebounder now. That was like our biggest issue, and a paint defender. And then we also added another perimeter defender. Got rid of Giddy, who yeah bought playmaking, but also outside of that, really would just average at everything else. For yeah. Alex Caruso, who's a vet perimeter three and D type guy. Yeah. We re signed Isaiah Joe. So we still got our shooters. We're still young. I mean, by metrics, I think like in betting odds, like we're like top three yeah. to win the championship. So I, I like us I like us as contenders. Um I think in terms of like our window, we have a larger window. Yeah. To win than the other three teams ahead of us right now in the column, because those superstars are a lot like yeah, olderish for sure. Than sure. um and Boston can only pay so many people. <laughs> yeah, that's max is, extension. Yeah, we only have under contract right now. Shea as a max. Um, I guess the next player coming up would be Chet. That's two years. I think it's two years. Yeah. Um. Maybe Jalen Williams. Yeah. Probably. I mean, that's why we traded Giddy, because we didn't want to pay him a max. Yeah, there's so. no shot you going to give Giddy that. I'm not going to I like us there. I think, I think we're going to have a good season. I think it's going to be a little, just a tab worse than last year, just because people, we don't have that uh, intimate, we don't have that uh, surprise factor now. Yeah, like, people like, kind of you know, know how good, like, Shea is and, like, People didn't really come in this last season saying, like, oh, yeah, he's going to be third or second in MVP, yeah. getting 30 a game, yeah. 36 and six or whatever. So now, I mean, and we also had a good playoff run. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll see. I think we're contenders. That's fair. That's fair. I was going to sit here. I was thinking about y'all's team, and I was like, dang, y'all need a vet. And I realized y'all got Alex Caruso. I'm like, oh, that is your vet. So... Yeah. I was I was debating between contenders and one piece away, but I, contenders is fair. Contenders is fair. I'm just going to be honest with my team. I'm just I'm just I'm just going to be honest. With okay, us. that's that's fair. Because well well, I was debating between wild card and average. 
But I feel like wild card is fair because we don't know what we're gonna get from Jimmy. We don't know. Yeah, especially since what we're gonna get the from whole Hero. off season with the playoff. I mean, the contract negotiations. Contracts. Pat openly said he's not going to give him a contract. We need him on the floor. So Jimmy was like, bet. I got that. He said, bet, I got you. So I don't know what that's going to, I don't know what's what's going to flow with that. Terry Rozier, Terry Rozier had a, a full off season with our team. Hopefully he's getting his groove back. Hopefully Y'all him. relying on Terry Rozier. Bro. But the thing is, though, <laughs> him and Hero could not play together at all. Terry's best games came after Hero got hurt. Yeah. And then Bam, we know what Bam's going to bring. Bam, we, you know, yeah. the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but just, we just do not, we didn't do anything this offseason. You know what we did? You know what the best signing we did? Nasir Little. <laughs> like three days ago. Of to date, at well, least. We, we recorded this on October 4th. Well, I think y'all re-signed Kevin Love, too. You count that. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Shut up, Kevin Love. So, I just, I just have so many questions. I can't even put us on average. Because if I said average, then at least I would expect something from us. I don't, I don't know what I'm getting from us this season. So... Yeah. I'm going to just put us there. I'm going to just be honest. But Pat Riley, you count your days. Please. There's no reason all these stars want to come to Miami and you ain't bring a single one. There's yeah. no way. Don't say Jimmy because Dwayne Wade brought Jimmy before he left. But that's besides the point. Let's just, yeah. There's a lot of interesting ones here. But New Orleans, they just got DeJounte Murray. Think they can make? Think they can make some noise? I, they, they real guard. They have though. a, they have a deep roster. What is Murray, McCollum, Ingram, Zion, and um, I guess Tice is starting now at the center. Yeah. Um, and then off the bench, you still got uh, Herb Jones, Murphy, Trey Murphy. Yeah. They have a deep roster. Dante, uh, not Dante. Um, Dyson Daniels. So they got a deep roster. I'm not gonna lie though. I think they're like the Sixers though. I don't know if they get past the second round. If they do, I think that's their ceiling. That's fair. I they, agree. But then again, it's really how how good can Zion be? People were saying he lost what? I think 30 pounds this off season. But we've been saying that a lot in the, in the past off season. Yeah, feels like a reoccurring thing. Honestly, next up. I'm gonna just I'm gonna look at the magic. I think the magic can be the first young but can make some noise. Yeah, I mean, they were four seed yeah. this past year. Yeah, and um, they can still do it. I want to give them average, but you know, they're just young and they can make some noise. I feel like they can do the same thing again. I feel like I could say the same with the Spurs, but definitely with the way Wemby's. Production was last year, and then you add Chris Paul to that. Hey, Wemby might average thirty. I'm not even going to lie. He may, <laughs> he may be top three in MVP in his second season. I'm the I came cat, and Chris Paul is going to average his career high in averages and assists. I'm not even going cat. He would have career high. Career high. I don't know. This is a man who's probably averaged ten assists plus before. Yeah, exactly. He would do it again with Wemby next time. You think he starts, though? Yes. Okay. Yes. I no, know no, they no. would play him like in a role like a vet. Just no. come off the bench type role. That'd be insane. Because we'll be the point play. You, you brought him here to bring Wemby a playmaker. And you going to bench him. Come on, Pop. Yeah. Come on, Pop. You can't do that, Pop. But I wouldn't be mad if you put the Spurs... Hot take. Then one piece away. Nah. They're not deep enough yet. Mm. Unless that one piece away is like... A major piece. <laughs> like Jimmy Butler. <laughs> ah. Ah. Anyways. Moving on. Honestly, 
Nets have potential to be bad, like Wizards. Bad. Yeah, now they like, they basically they stacking potential. draft picks. Yeah, so I expect nothing else from it. Let's actually, let's just fill out that whole bottom row. I'm not going to lie. Let's just do that. Uh, Toronto openly said they're tanking. So Toronto, uh, flag season. That's about it. I'll I'll put the Hornets in the wild card. I'll put the Hawks in the wild card. Detroit yeah. wild card because it's what if Trey Young gets traded? True, I have been hearing that. True, they just got the Frenchman, the number one pigs. So basically, Kari. Yeah, Sakurai. basically the wild card is just stuff teams we I just don't know. Like I don't know about the Bulls. I think they're gonna be bad. Like Wizards bad, bro. Lonzo's coming off an injury. That's if he plays. Exactly. So, boom. We don't know. We don't know how. Uh, Giddy should be fine. I don't think Levine stays at a whole season. No. And then you have um, Kobe White, who just came off with, like, almost winning most improved player. That's a lot of I don't knows in your in I mean, state. yeah, but then everybody else on the team is mid. I mean, you have Vucevic, but everybody else on the team is. Exactly. I mean... I don't think they going to be Wizards bad. They're going the Chicago's going to at least win 20 games. Yeah. Yeah. Like everybody in the bottom row, I don't see winning 20 games. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like like wild card is at least teams is going to win 20 games. You don't see the Pistons down there? I think the Pistons win 20 games. I think they're wild card cuz of how young and how much potential they have to be good. Yeah. So that makes sense. Uh, Houston. Houston. Houston's young but can make noise. Yeah. Yeah. You think Jalen Green stays a rocket? I've been hearing his name in some talks. Well, I was. I don't know if they're still going. But I have heard his name in some talks. I don't know. They just drafted Reese Shepard, who's been playing really well for them actually since summer league. Yeah. So that's another guard they got. They still got Eamon Thompson, Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Green. Mm-hmm. I think he should stay put. Um, now, I think for them it's more so that they want to pay him max money. Or I, I think they already paid him max money. Yeah. But I I mean, I think he stays. I think him and Udo, uh, Udoka have built a chemistry up. So, okay. I think I think he stays. But I like them and still young, but could make some noise up there. Okay. So, I'm going to knock out these one pieces of ways real quick. You tell me if I'm wrong. I think they're average. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like... They just haven't developed Evan Mobley right. Garland can't really play well with Mitchell at the same time. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I think that, yeah, I think they're average. Okay. You don't think Clay takes him over the top? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, one just piece. another guard. To they lost guards. Derek Jones. I think they need another forward yeah so like yeah one piece is fine too small oh snap honestly they just need Giannis to be healthy by playoff time but you can't just win with Giannis and Dame when Doc Rivers is a coach yeah Doc Rivers <laughs> Doc Rivers is definitely a person holding him back but see now I would have had them in contenders but you just traded away Cat and piece. gave him Julius Randle. Julius Randle, DiVincenzo, Gobert, Ant. I, I think they need another guard. I think they need another guard with Ant. I know Rob Dillingham's good. I like Rob personally, but. You think he's going to be that? Uh, uh, he, no, that would take. option? No, that was, he's definitely off the bench for them. They still got Mike Conley. 
Yeah, maybe one more season of Mike Conley. So they better look. <laughs> they better start looking because I don't know about next year's draft. I don't know about that. But that. Yeah, they definitely need another superstar with Tyrese Halburn. I think they're just average. The Kings was in the. the ah, mm. How much does DeMar really take them over the top? Granted, they were miss, missing like Malik Monk by then. And, uh, they don't have a closer De'Aaron outside Fox. of De'Aaron. I mean, DeMar now. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, prior to DeMar, they didn't have a closer outside of De'Aaron. De'Aaron was asked to do a lot. I don't know. Now you have DeMar to take off some of that. And you still got some bonus that everybody, you think he's a top five center? Yeah, probably. So you got a top five center on your team. Top five, top seven. You got a top five point guard on your team. And then you got a top five shooting guard. Or is he small for? Who? DeMar Dorsey. I mean... Fox, either Monk or Herder. Yeah, so he played with Mar, yeah, with Keegan Murray, Sabonis. But the thing is with them, you got your your trio, but is your depth enough? Yeah. Is your depth enough to face these four up here? Hmm. Nah. Nope. Probably not. Memphis? I would give them a piece away, but it's only Ja. So it's like... Uh, is it? Yes. Ja, Bain, Jackson, Smart, GG Jackson off the bench, Zach Eady now, rookie. So you putting them in one piece away? Hot take. I think they got a contending roster. Oh my gosh. I think they no. got I think Ja if he no. comes back how he came back after he I think he broke his arm or some 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 bone or whatever. How he came back and went on that little four or five game stretch before he got injured again. I think I think they could be a contending roster. They got the pieces. The only wait, what one piece would they need? I mean, they got the superstar, got the defenders, got scoring off the bench. Maybe if Edie's not playing good, maybe go small ball, put Jaron Jackson at center, and then they would probably need another wing player, like maybe like Herb Jones or Trey Murphy from the Pelicans. I'd have to see. I don't know. I just don't know about that team because they're probably going to be like the Thunder, just young, but they don't got that guy. They don't got that vet. Derrick Rose is retired. How long I don't is think they Smart need a really vet. Be there? Uh, yeah, Marcus Smart. Yeah. Mm. So I, I don't know. Like, you could probably put them in that one piece away, but I can't put them. I okay, I think then we should just put them in one piece then. Okay, let's just let's just go to common ground. Yeah. Now the well, well Utah we can just Yeah, we already ground. talked about them. Now these two are interesting. I think if the I'm Warriors honest, be average. Yeah, if I'll be honest, the Warriors are gonna be average. And the Suns, I can't even give them a piece away. <laughs> I can't even do that. They but I can't give a piece. Them they would have to get rid of a piece to get a piece. And who wants Bradley Beal and, and soon to be twenty twenty five? Nobody, because you're not giving up Booker, you're not giving up KD. So, yeah, nobody's gonna want Bradley. Be- yeah, I'm I'm being a, a comp- they're average to me. They're average to me. The Suns are just average to me. They're that average. Yeah. I guess roster wise, 
just outside of that big three, or I should say duo and Bradley Beal. Yusuf Nurkic. Who else am I thinking of? Bo Bo. Who else Grayson Allen of? had a career year, though. Eric Gordon, Grayson Allen. I don't... I don't think the Suns beat anything in one piece away and up in a seven-game series. Kings are close to me. Everybody else probably not. Kings and Mavericks, because of matchup-wise, probably could give them a run. But everybody else, I don't know. Like, I'd say the only close series would probably be, like, Pacers, Kings. But that's about it, though. I, if I'm being completely honest, I think they're. I think just so Curry, Katie, Braun, all on average. Sheesh, crazy. What a year! It's a crazy time we live in, man. It's, it's a sad time, but I think. I mean, y'all let us know what y'all think. Y'all let us know what y'all think. I think it's fair. I think yeah. this is cool. Dang, Knicks in contention. <laughs> Dang. Oh my gosh! Hey, if the Knicks make the finals, I'm mean, you know, I have to go to New York for a fight for every finals game. Get the interview. Would be people. crazy. <laughs> get the this interview with people. Down, <laughs> now that's go content. New York, go New York. That's content. But hey, man, y'all let us know what y'all think down below. Y'all let us know who can contend with the Boston Celtics. Who is the biggest rival to them? And Y'all let us know who y'all think is going to win the championship this year. Hey, let us know. Don't shoot. You're no. going MVPs while you at it. But until the next video, it's your boys, Juice and Lou. And we out of here. Peace. Peace.